from hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. We've got a can of Mystic Mama IPA, well, India Pale Ale from Jackie O's Brewing, uh, Pub and Brewery in Athens, Ohio. This is part of the uh, beer mail that these two guys brought back from their recent holiday. Jackie O's been one of the breweries I really want to try um, uh, from America for quite a while. And in that area, it's one of the ones that everybody raves about. And this is 7% ABV, another craft beer, IPA in a can. This is one that uh, when we try to organise the day, I wanted to drink it as soon as possible for CBS. It's when you don't understand when you drink it, it's just so nice. So how fresh did you get this in, in America then? Did you get it pretty much like within a couple of weeks or? We just basically it, Oh the candy. Yeah, yeah. We just got it as soon as. Right. But it was just so nice. So much like the uh, other beer that we just had, it's just it's don't restrain yourself. Well, you're the one who finished the first one. I know. <laughs> Straight away, so restrain yourself, Stu. <laughs> you can have more than that. So. Yeah. Uh, Stu's got the lace now. Is it? No, I don't like shit for That's nice and hazy. It's a uh, golden colour. It's a lot, hazy, a lot more hazy than the last one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, very it's hazy. Golden that's golden head. Head. Yeah, really nice head. I was talking to um, a significant member of the British Brewing Fraternity <laughs> the other day and they weren't that bothered about kind of, um, they, they liked the idea of, of having a nice clear beer. Okay. And um, I said, well, there is a bit of a movement, especially in the UK, towards like unfined beers and yeah. stuff like that. I and because it's this idea that it's going to strip out a lot of um, certain compounds, but apparently if you do it right, mm. There's no wrong with filter beers. See, I, I mean, I don't want to get into it now, obviously, mm. reviewing this, but Bruno recently started doing that, haven't they? So, I mean, is there a, is there a reason for that, do you reckon? I mean, you, you're the one who knows James Well, there you go. No, I think, this thing, no, I think there is, the reason why that they do it is um, sometimes if uh, having particles in your beer can actually make your beer a bit not as good as it could be, I guess. Okay. So, it's often, if you take out things that are potentially going to ruin it, then um, you've got better chance of consistency. Okay. So let's check out the aroma on this one. Right. It's definitely more bitter than the previous beer. Uh, it's more, more juicy to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way more oh, juicy than the last one. As, isn't it? as Rob would say. Very full of mango for me. Yeah, massive yeah, mango. In fact, the, in the last one, you could actually pick out that slight caramel more, but in this one, I can't really pick anything else. Yeah, it's it's more, more wheaty than anything else. Yeah. Just a little bit on the back end. Like a little bit of banana there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Kind of like a bit of black banana. Yeah, yeah. very right. Lots of mango, like oh, you said, wow. touch of passion fruit maybe. Yeah, just lots of yeah. juicy, fruity, lovely, juicy orange as well. I mean, once again, that smells fucking <laughs> really, really good. These cans are really <laughs> forward, guys. They really are. For, for IPA, I mean, I'm, I'm all for cans. I mean, a lot of times it's kept better. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of shops, a mm. lot of shops don't store the beer very well, especially in the UK. I think in America they really do. Mm. But over here, I don't think we get it right. And, um, but I mean, so cans, I think you've got, you just, if it's not, if it's a bit warm in there, it's probably going to um, keep a bit better, especially when you've got big hoppy beers. I think they do kind of like hold into the can a lot better. Anyway, I'm going to have to go. He's already gone, he's already gone. Yeah. Oh, that Another it's fantastic. Mm. Yeah, wow. definitely. I think along similar lines. It, very similar lines, but I think this one leaves you with a little bit, a little of a longer, bit of a longer finish, bit, mm -hmm. bit more bitterness on the after, on the uh, on the end. You know, it, it's one of those beers though. Unlike the last one, mm. it tastes different to the aroma, mm. don't you think? Like, yeah. not significantly, but I think you can taste a lot more malt in the in the taste. But those, those juicier fruits definitely come through instantly. You, you get the A B in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's a seven, know. isn't it? Yeah. It's just a little bit higher than, but you certainly get the ABP. It's a little bit more refined and a bit more yeah, like, uh, high. After, after a lot of really fitness stuff, mm. like that. It's not as drinkable as the last one, is it? No. But it's, you can still tell that it's quality. It's, it's, it's quality well, brew, it's, isn't it? It's, the previous one, you could probably, it's such a good amount. Mm -hmm. This, it'd be half the amount you could Yeah. Get. You could have a couple. Yeah. So it has got a bit of but hope behind it. It has got its session ability about it because it's, it's so nice. That's it, it's when it's flipped, so flavours <laughs> keep coming back. You want more of it. That aroma's beautiful though. Mm. It's so. It's, so it's just like smelling a fruit ball. 
I think in the flavour, I get a bit more, it's a bit more resinous. Mm. Um, definitely, I'm getting quite a marmalade thing, maybe yeah, kind of like a marmalade. burnt sugar in yeah. there. Shred mm. less marmalade more than mm. a, a lot of like. Whereas the one before, you'd get more of the pungent orange and stuff mm. like that. Absolutely. It's a little bit kind of slightly floral as well. Yeah. But yeah, fantastic. Mm. Man. As it says, oh. copious amounts of pungent hops. I mean, yeah, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of beers say that on it yeah. and don't deliver that, but this certainly <laughs> does. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, you've got to love it when the beer delivers exactly what the market is trying to do. And really, there's nothing more irritating than when you find that you know the can or the bottle say something yeah. and you taste it and it's like, no. <laughs> yeah. But this one definitely does. This one. It really yeah. does. Wow. Yeah. When you're saying about the, um, um, you can taste the ABV, I think it's because there is a bit of more sweetness from the malt. I mean, I don't think you get any malt flavour, because mm. I think there's just too much in the way hops to even <laughs> anything to get through. But there is that kind of more kind of sweet and sugary thing going on, yeah. which but doesn't detract at all because those hops are absolutely smacking. You know, Definitely. Hops. See it, by it. Yeah. Storming. Brilliant beer. So that's the can of Jackie O's Pub and Brewery Mystic Mama India Pale Ale, 7% ABV from Athens, Ohio. Cracking. See you next time. Cheers. 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 Thank <laughs> you.